Well, hello, my students. We're going to do the five formulas every out student, student should know. And then Monday, we're going to start graphing. Now, Monday, we're not in class. Of course, you'll watch the videos. And next Thursday, we'll have videos also. So the first couple formulas, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time with. The first one, oh, the big one of them all, the quadratic formula. Ooh, ooh. So you should have this memorized negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4c all over 2a. So if we have x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. You just plug and chug the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. 4 times a is 1 times c, that's 20, all over 2a. So it's negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 16, oops, all over uh, 2a, which is 2. So it would be negative 2 plus or minus 4i over 2, and we can reduce that to negative 2 plus or minus, I messed up, negative 1 plus or minus 2i. I'm not going to do a bunch of examples on that because you should know it. The next one, again, you should know, and that is slope. Good land. I can't even spell. Slope. Slope. Now we use M for the letter for slope, and I'm talking about given two ordered pairs What would the slope be? Well, remember, slope is always change in y over change in x. So it would be change the y's over change the x, change is subtraction. Now, whatever y you start with on the top, that ordered pair y, you have to start with that x on the bottom. Now, you can start with this one, but... Then you got to use this one as the start on the bottom. So again, I'm not going to do a lot of examples of this. You should know. 3, 4, 5, 6. So you go slope is 6 minus 4 over 5 minus 3, which is 2 over 2, which is 1. Ta-da! The third formula, my guess is some of you have seen before, very important formula. You're going to use this a lot. You're going to use it in geometry, and you're going to see it in trigonometry, which we'll be doing fourth quarter. So it's the Pythagorean Theorem. So Pythagorean theorem says this, when you have a right triangle, a right triangle is a triangle that has one right angle in it. So uh, you have three sides, one, two, three. And what it says is when you take the square of the leg, a leg is the side of the right angle, plus the square of the other leg, side of the right angle, that will always equal the hypotenuse squared. The hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. So we can use it in two huge ways. You can use it to find missing sides. You can also use it to find if, out if a triangle is a right triangle or not. So if I give you this... And I say, this is 3, this is 4, what's this? You would say, oh, that's the hypotenuse, so it's 3 squared plus 4 squared equals, I don't know, squared. So 9 plus 16 equals C squared. 
25 equals c squared. So, oops, so c equals 5. Now, it's not plus or minus 5 because the side of an object can't be negative. So, if I said, okay, let's say this is 5 and this is 13. Well, you'd say, okay, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, 5 squared plus, I don't know, squared equals 13 squared. So, 25 plus b squared equals 169. So, b squared equals 144. So, b equals 12. So, it's a 5, 12, 13 triangle. Now, I've done the two nice ones. Nice answers. But that's the Pythagorean theorem. Okay. I think I'm going to stop there and do the other two, uh, the other two formulas in another video. Thank you very much.